Oh man, I'm starting to get really hungry. What do we got in here? Let's see. Hawaiian punch, some ham. Ooh, ham actually sounds really good. You want some Virginia ham boy? Hands off of me, motherfucker! No! No, no, no! I'm out of the back! There you go, no, 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 no. Ah! I'm inside the dog's breath! Ah! Ah! The horror! Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh shit! Not me too! No! Don't eat me! No! Ay! Mamma mia! Oh fuck! Motherfucker! Oh no! Oh mm. fuck me! Fuck my life! Mamma mia! No! Don't eat the other piece of me! No! 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 no. Oh! Fuck! Fuck! Fuck mm. mamma mia! Fuck me! No! Mm. Why do I have to be a delicious ham? No! Fuck being the ham! This is the worst life ever! Oh fuck! Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Sausage Party. So, Sausage Party is the R rated animated film. The film stars Seth Rogen, Kristen Wiig, James Franco, Paul Rudd, Jonah Hill, Craig Robinson, Nick Kroll, Thelma Hayek, Edward Norton. It has a huge voice cast. And Sausage Party is this R-rated animated telling of the sausages or any other products at the store. Everyone at the store believes that the great beyond is like heaven where everything is beautiful and magical. And that's not the case. Once they see that the great beyond is something so vile it's up to Seth Rogen and the others to discover their true existence like what the great beyond is really like humans that love to eat food going into sausage party this was one of my most anticipated movies of the summer if you guys saw my trailer review that I've done for this film, you saw that I was laughing really hard in that trailer review because, wow, I haven't laughed so hard at a trailer in a long, long time. And I'm not over-exaggerating when I say that, you guys. I mean, my trailer review is basically proof right there. And so, with a concept like this, I couldn't wait to see how they would handle it. And also because, look, I'm someone that loves the animated genre, but it's also really refreshing to see an R-rated animated film because it's not often you get an animated film for adults. So I saw this as a breath of fresh air and I really love Seth Rogen, I love the cast, and I just love the concept. I'm so happy to say that Sausage Party did not, it did not disappoint me. I was so happy with the way Sausage Party turned out. This is definitely one of the funniest movies to come out in 2016. Not only is it funny, but it's thought-provoking. Yeah, I didn't think I would be saying that, but it's actually thought-provoking. And it's so creative. Like, I have to give my hats off to how creative Sausage Party is. This movie is filled with creativity all over it and I really have to admire that. The film is well written. It has such a well written script. It's very well directed by Greg Tierman and Conrad Vernon, one of the directors that's known for directing DreamWorks animated films like Shrek 2, Monsters vs. Aliens, and Madagascar 3, Europe Still Wanted. And the other director is known for directing to say those two gentlemen did a really good job directing this film as far as writing the script goes I thought Seth Rogen and all the other writers did a really good job writing the script for Sausage Party and the animation although yes maybe not the most detailed animation in the world considering this is a very low budget animated film I really love the animation, honestly. I think the animation looks very colorful. It looks very vibrant. It felt really nice to be in such a filthy world where food is just cussing. And I will say the cussing actually didn't bother me. I actually thought the foul-mouthed words by the characters actually worked. 
but I can see how the cussing can really irritate some people. It surprisingly didn't irritate me to be honest, but I will say yes, there's times where the cussing isn't necessarily, well, necessary, but I thought it worked honestly. As far as voice talents go, I thought everybody, and I do mean everybody, did a great job voicing their characters. And like I said, because the cast is so huge, please uh, don't be surprised if I forget anybody. But that's what I have to address. Everyone that gave their voices in this film did a really good job. Seth Rogen is really good in this film. I love Seth Rogen. I thought his voice fit his character well. I thought Kristen Wiig was great as the bun. And I thought the way Seth Rogen and Kristen and wig interact with each other because of this whole gag of you know buns and the a uh, hot dog I will just put it lightly that whole thing was very funny to me and I thought that worked well and I think it's because of the way Seth Rogen and Kristen Wiig delivered their lines that's what made that very entertaining David Krumholtz I believe and Edward Norton they did a really good job as his pairing I mean who would have thought a million years Edward Norton would voice a bagel in an animated film. This is a different movie for Edward Norton, and I have to say, wow, he is unrecognizable. That's something I have to say, too, that I really credit this film. Some of the voices are seriously unrecognizable. Edward Norton's unrecognizable here, and he's great. Paul Rudd, holy crap, he was unrecognizable in this film. But he was really great. And then there's other ones like, I would even say, in a way, James Franco was pretty unrecognizable in this film and I'm sure there's others you know I thought they really lended their voices very well Craig Robinson is actually kind of unrecognizable here but he was really great and then there's also Michael Cera who I was surprised had a rather large role I wasn't expecting so much screen time on Michael Cera's character Barry but I'm actually glad they did because one you don't really see Michael Cera that often. And two, Barry was such a likable character. I'm glad that the movie gave a whole lot of focus to Barry because he's likable and Michael Cera lended that voice very, very well. And then Selma Hayek as the lesbian taco just nailed that role perfectly. And then there's also Jonah Hill. Danny McBride plays this honey mustard. That was actually funny. I actually liked that character, considering I'm not a Danny McBride fan. I actually liked that character. And other voice talents I may not have mentioned. I just really enjoyed them in general. Everyone was great here. And the other thing I have to really credit Sausage Party for is its religious aspects like the way it addresses religion and how everyone has different beliefs it was actually really impressive honestly how they address all those themes they pretty much target at every race and religion you can possibly think of although it could be offensive to some people and i can understand how that's something i will say if you're easily offended i do not i repeat i do not recommend watching sausage party because this film really does not care if it offends someone or not. And as far as the humor goes, like I said, this is a funny movie. Most of the humor in this film really hit for me. It was raunchy, but it was also clever and it was also very creative. The music as well in this film was really great. This movie opens with a musical number and my goodness, does it sound so catchy. It's basically poking fun of Disney, like all the musical numbers. And it's funny because I heard that the musical number in the opening scene of this film is actually written by the guy that has written those Disney songs. So that's very cool, honestly. And for him to write something that's R-rated was actually very funny and very refreshing to see, so that was very cool. I thought the final act in Sausage Party, wow, that was a total blast. I'm not talking the ending, I'm talking like this big action-packed climax that you actually got in the film. It was so awesome. And then you get to the ending in Sausage Party. <laughs> Wow! Wow, what did I watch? <laughs> that ending in Sausage Party. Wow! 
<laughs> oh, that was something. That was freaking something. <laughs> oh, that ending. That was awesome. I, I love that ending. That was just, that was just, mm, wow, did they really take advantage of the R rating with that ending. That's all I'm going to say. Now, however, Sausage Party does have some problems, in my opinion. And one of the problems I did have with this movie, personally, is that just like with a lot of comedies, some of the humor doesn't necessarily work. It does try too hard with the humor sometimes. Especially leading up to my next flaw with this film is actually the first act. I thought the first act was actually rather rough. After that great musical number, I really wasn't even laughing that much in the first act. Although I will still say I enjoyed watching the first act, I just wasn't really laughing during the first act and I thought more of the humor could have come. Luckily the second act and third act do completely make up for the lack of laughs from the first act. Jonah Hill and Danny McBride, I actually like both of them in this film. but. They weren't really in the film that much. Danny McBride is only in this film for like a good five minutes and I really enjoyed his character as a honey mustard. But his character really wasn't in this film that much and I actually would have liked to see more of that honey mustard character. Jonah Hill, I really liked him as Carl. It was just too bad that Carl didn't have as much screen time as I thought he was going to have. Especially considering Jonah Hill is listed as one of the more main characters in the cast list. I think Michael Cera should have been higher on the list than Jonah Hill because he has more screen time than Jonah Hill did. And the last problem I had with Sausage Party, and it is the biggest problem I had with this film, was douche. Douche really annoyed the heck out of me, to be honest. I was not a fan of this guy. Every time he popped up on screen, I was not laughing. The most cringeworthy scene in this film, I'm not going to say anything, let's just say there's a scene that deals with him and the juice box. It was the most cringe-worthy scene in Sausage Party, and it was probably my least favorite scene in this film as well. I did not find that scene funny. I didn't find any scene funny regarding douche. But overall, you guys, I had a freaking blast with Sausage Party. This film was funny, it's creative, it's thought-provoking, it's fun. This film is why we have fun fun with the summer movie season because the summer movie season is all about having fun and this film definitely belonged in the summer movie season. There are some movies you go to to have fun and just be entertained by and then there's some you go for the complex storytelling. Sausage Party was really fun. I had a really good time with this film. I definitely want to watch it again because it's so much fun and it's so funny and it's worth just going back to just for that ending alone. So I'm going to give Sausage Party 3 out of 4 stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about Sausage Party. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! No! No! Get your dirty fucking hands off of me, motherfucker! No! No, no, no! I'm out of the bag! No, no, don't, don't! Ah! I must have the dog's breath! Ah! Ah! The horror! Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh shit! Not me! Do no! Don't eat me! No! I mamma mia! Oh fuck! Motherfucker! Oh no! Oh fuck me! Fuck me life, mamma mia! No! Don't eat the other piece of me! No! 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 Oh fuck! Fuck! Fuck mamma mia! Fuck me! No! Why did I have to be a delicious ham? No! Fuck being the ham! This is the worst life ever! Oh fuck!